While the vast majority of lung cancer cases are linked to tobacco, more and more non-smokers are diagnosed with this deadly disease. There seems to be kind of an increase over the last, you know, 20 years in lung cancers in non-smokers. We see now more women, more younger people, and more non-smokers. Non-smokers are more likely to get a slower growing form of lung cancer, one with a driver mutation compared to people who smoke. Cigarette smoke, tobacco smoke, has a lot of carcinogens in the smoke. So this can cause lots and lots of mutations in the lung tissue that leads to eventually to cancer. For the patients that haven't been smokers, they more often will have one, what we call a driver mutation. One gene goes bad in the lung tissue and drives the cancer. As doctors get a better look at non-smoking lung cancer, they've identified better treatment options therapy that identifies the precise driver and directly attacks it. For some of these mutations, we now have good treatments that we can give without necessarily having to use chemotherapy on. We now have ways of shutting down some of those gene pathways, and there's more of things coming out all the time. The closer researchers look, the more variations they're finding. When I show a pie chart and talk about lung cancer, they used to be just small cell type and non-small cell type. Nowadays, they're cutting, cutting this pie into smaller and smaller pieces so that we have more targeted treatment. The end goal is to reveal solutions to make lung cancer livable. For Lee Memorial Health System, I'm Amy Osher.